Hi everyone, it's MJ and welcome to this introductory video on random variables. Now here we have the big picture of what statistics is. It's all about you know having this data, getting our stats and finding information on parameters and distributions of this thing called the random variable so that we can answer questions and optimize processes. Now random variables, as we see, it's a, it's a big component. It's a big component in our picture. In fact, random variables are almost, in a way, the heart of reality. If you can understand random variables, you can understand life. And I'm not exaggerating here because everything has an element of chance and randomness to it. So if you can understand this concept, then you are going to go very far in life. Now, random variables. What we're going to be doing in this course is we're going to be introducing parameters, we're going to be introducing distributions, and we're going to even be introducing a certain amount of stats. And the big key mathematics that we're going to be using here is calculus. So if you haven't done calculus before, because that is one thing that we are assuming in this course, that you have done calculus, you might want to brush up on that a little bit before really getting stuck into this. The reason why we need calculus is because distributions, as we can see, are going to be split into two types. We have our discrete distributions where we can get away with using simple algebra. But then we have our continuous distributions and that's where we're going to be requiring the use of calculus. Once we have these things here, we can use this maths to create statistics that can estimate our parameters. What the subject does do is that it does carry on from probability. So if you haven't seen the previous course, I highly recommend that you go check that one out first because that is, again, another prerequisite in order to understand what random variables are. What we're also going to be doing is we're going to be introducing this idea of the probability density function and the cumulative density function, which we are going to be seeing throughout the course and also a lot more in the next course, which focuses in on distributions and the different types of them. So this is a critical, critical chapter, and it is very, very, very important that you become comfortable with this concept known as the random variable. Anyway, we explain what it is in the course, so I'm looking forward to seeing you in there. But if you have any general comments, please use the comment section below. Otherwise, I will be seeing you for the rest of the course in the other videos. Keep well. Cheers.